Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be running over the brand new update that literally just came to Fortnite version 15.10. Now, if you guys didn't know, they've added a bunch of brand new things into creative and also into the settings. So we're going to be covering those later in the video. But first, if you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we are on the grind to 10k subscribers. And if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, then be sure to drop a like and also share it to your friends. Also, shout out to all the homies still using code Campbell YT. You guys get a digital cookie. But having said all that, let's jump straight into the brand new update that's came to Fortnite. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so now we are into the map. We're just going to jump straight into brand new guns. Obviously, the brand new snow slash winter slash Christmas theme. And also the game breaking or more game improving setting that they added to the game. So we'll start off there and then we'll slowly work our way into the actual game, which I won't cover too much. I'll just do a more creative side of things. So if you guys go into your settings and go across to settings and scroll down to building, you guys will see reset edits when entering building mode so what this means is as you guys see i have it on so if i preset for example a floor like that and it places all i need to do to reset that floor is get out of my builds and go back into it and as you can see right there they're already reset now if you guys have played fortnite for a long time you'll know that this has been a really 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 big talking point when it came to creative players because it was causing a lot of players to muck up in their clips due to the fact that they were pre-editing their building pieces so basically what this means is if you guys do get a preset all you have to do is go out of your building menu and back into it and it'll be reset for you now in my head is that a big difference from the fact of you can simply just reset it i'm not too sure that'll have to come down to you guys actually trying it and testing it in 1v1s and stuff like that so now i know a lot of you guys might be thinking well cambo what is a preset so basically a preset is when you guys hold out your building menu before you press any confirm or any button to place down anything it's when you press edit and then select tiles and press confirm and as you can see, it automatically has it preset to a specific shape or piece that I edited it into. Now, when I go out of my building menu and back into it, as you can see, it stays preset. So like if I try and crank with this, <laughs> hang on, it, you can see it's really not, not very good at all. And to reset it, I have to hold it out, press edit, reset and confirm. Now with this brand new setting that they've added to the game, reset edits when entering build mode, press apply. Now, if you preset and edit, for example, on accident or on purpose, and you need it reset back normally, so it's not a preset really quick, all you guys need to do is go out of your build menu and back in bang it's a reset for you so in conclusion will this make you a god player at the game no but it most definitely will give you those small little advantages over an opponent who has for example presets turned on because they do have to spend that extra time resetting the actual build for example mid retake whereas what you have to do is simply go out and then back into your build menu so it has been a long basically three years with presets but now if you guys are for example a creative warrior or someone that doesn't want to have them there is a very, very, very viable option for you guys to not have them in your game. So along with the new setting, Fortnite has also added two brand new guns into the game. But unfortunately, as you guys can see, they haven't added them into creative. Once again, they're just in the actual game, which does suck. So I can't showcase them for you guys in this video specifically. Also, whilst we're in the creative menu... If you guys do go to devices, there is two brand new things that have been added. The player spawn pad and of course the player reference to controller. Now there's a bunch of really cool things that you guys can use these for. But one thing that comes to mind in particular is you can basically set it up as like a score counter in your creative world. So if you want to have 1v1s, you can have your player with your skin using one of the player spawn pads and the references. And when one of you kills each other, it'll come up with one with your skin being hologram there as well. So it looks insanely cool. So it can basically be used as like a glorified scoreboard but it's definitely an extremely cool feature also another really 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 cool thing that they've brought to the next generation consoles with fortnite is 120 fps on console now unfortunately i personally don't have a ps5 or xbox series x but if you guys do want to see that then i'll leave a link to a video on what it looks like and the comparison down in the description it'll be the top link from one of my homies mitch games so definitely go check that video out if you guys are interested now obviously along with it coming along to christmas time there's obviously a lot of festivities and a lot of snow so obviously there's challenges to do if 
you guys do want to get some free rewards, then you guys can definitely go check them out for yourselves. And there was also a brand new LTM, which I won't get too, too in depth into because like I said, you guys can go and check that out for yourselves when you play the game. So that just about wraps up all of the brand new news that has come to the Fortnite update 15.10. If you guys have enjoyed this video, then of course, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe if you guys are new around the channel. But that's going to do it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys in an upcoming video very soon. See you boys.